Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back for another screencast by your Earth Science teacher, Mr. Stano. And today we're going to move on to divergent plate boundaries. When we last left off, we were talking about convergent plate boundaries when those plates come together. Now we're talking about divergent when they come away. So divergent plate boundaries are nothing more when these plates move away from each other. Notice we have our stenosphere underneath and those convection cells driving them. But this is important right here. Notice that this magma is coming up now through that lithosphere. So here's an example where we have a divergent plate boundary. So we can see here the athenosphere currents right here pulling this land apart. And notice we get these little steps down. These are, it's like a rift valley. And as this moves apart more and more, water will come in and fill the area. And eventually we get oceans to form. So this is a divergent plate boundary underneath a landmass. Here's a mid-ocean ridge right here. Same thing, we have our asthenosphere. So we have magma pushing up, the asthenosphere with the convection cells within that asthenosphere pushing that landmass apart. Here is Iceland. Notice we have the North American plate moving one way, Eurasian the other. So here is a divergent plate boundary. They're moving away from each other. We also have the Mid-Atlantic Ridge off the East Coast, of the United States, uh, in the Atlantic Ocean, pretty much in the middle, right in between Europe and the United States. And here we have ocean floor that is being pushed apart or diverging because of that convection cells within the athenosphere and it's bringing magma up into the surface. So if we look at our ocean floor, see this is our Mid-Atlantic Ridge running down right in between the continents, moving the North American plate away from our Eurasian and African plate right there. What we see is that the younger rock is going to be found here. So there's a magma comes up. This is young. And as this pushes out and moves away, so we increase time, this gets old. As we increase time, as we move away, we get old over here. So young in the middle, old as we move away. We have evidence of seafloor spreading at divergent plate boundaries. What we notice is that magma comes up to the surface. As that magma cools and hardens, those there's minerals that will actually align themselves, or the magnetic grains will align themselves with Earth's magnetic field. So, for instance, right now we have that northern field. So you'll actually see the direction of the mineral of the magnetite grains align themselves with that. If Earth's magnetic field changes, they'll change the newer ones will change direction. So we get what's called magnetic striping. Earth changes its magnetic field north, south, north, south. That changes. So then the magnetite grains will align themselves with whatever polarity is at that time. And we can see these patterns. So magnetic striping, so igneous rocks contain iron. Well, some of them do. Or magnetite. When this rock hardens, the direction of Earth's magnetic field is then recorded by the iron in the rock. Remember, when it's magma, they're able to shift and move. When it cools and hardens, it's frozen in time. It's a marker. So in certain times, those magnetic field changes. So we see changes in that magnetic, uh, in the magnetite grains over time. What we notice is the pattern on one side of the plate is pretty much a reflection of the pattern on the other side. So this is what we end up getting. Notice up here we have our magma coming up. So this light color is one polarity. Remember, so this is new. As it comes up, it forces the plates out. So now we're over here. Notice that this side is equal to that side. They're mirror images. As time goes on and our magma keeps coming up and our plates keep pushing apart, notice that the patterns are equal. So this might be north-south. This might be south, north, I'm sorry, south, north. 
north, south, south, north, north, south, south, north, north, south. The pattern is reflection. North, south, south, north. So you see how that pattern continues on and on. South, south, north for the white, north, south. So this pattern that we see is evidence for seafloor spreading or divergent plate boundaries. This is Earth's magnetic field. We can map it. It's very easy to do. And pretty much anyone with a compass can sit there for a long enough period of time. But we actually have the rock record to look at it. And what we see is it goes through a reversal. And when that happens, what is typically north is now actually becomes south to a compass. This is just looking at Earth's magnetic field lines once again. And we can see that by looking at the rock record that the changes in our magnetic field is a cyclic pattern. And notice that we're on our way back now. And then that takes us to transform plate boundaries. We'll hold off on that one to the next screencast. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.